Well, welcome. Welcome to the uh, 13th, 13th Annual um, Sustainable Business and Social Impact Conference. We can, we can give a clap, yeah? We can give a clap, cool. Um, thanks, cool. Welcome, we are uh, delighted to have you all here. Um, we hope you enjoy the rest of the day, but before we get ahead of ourselves, um, for those of you who have been with us uh, in previous years, we have a bit of a different look and feel, but uh, the essence is the same, um, or we hope that's going to be the case for the rest of the day. Um, and that has a lot to do with these three groups, uh, the Centre for the Advancement of Social Entrepreneurship, um, CASE, EDGE, the Centre for Energy Development and the Global Environment, and the Net Impact Club, which is a professional um, student-led club. Um, and um, we also want to celebrate, apart from the 13th year of SBSI, um, CASE is celebrating 15 years, so that I think also deserves a round of applause. Sorry, true to form, I forgot to introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Manuel Costa. Uh, I'm a second year student here at uh, Fuqua. This is Lee Johnson, uh, and this is Kat McNeil, Catherine McNeil. Um, we're going to be leading through the initial stages of the day, and if you have any questions, by all means, uh, do ask us. All right. Thanks so much, Manu. In addition to these centers, we want to give a quick thank you and please a very big round of applause for our team that has put this together. Uh, if you see them during the day, definitely give them uh, the thanks that they deserve and appreciation. It's been really incredible working with them. So thank you, team. Awesome. So today, we are going to hear a lot of content across many different sectors. We're talking about the future of social impact. And as you all might imagine, that covers everything from food to blockchain technology to very current issues like the opioid crisis. Uh, we're going to start with a keynote um, and then go into our first breakout sessions. You probably, everyone has downloaded the Yap app, I'm sure, has it all pulled up on their phone, knows exactly where they're going, but just in case you haven't, um, sorry, our first, um, pardon, the first breakout session is the opioid epidemic, the future of food and diversity and inclusion. The schedule is out on the hall, so please take time to check out which session you will be going to. Um, after that, we'll have a coffee break and a second breakout session going forward before lunch, uh, followed by lunch, another keynote, a coffee break, and then a final breakout session, which will have three more panels. Again, on the schedule, posters outside and the keynotes you, or the speakers in each of those you can find in the Yap app. Um, finally, we'll have a keynote um, to end the day and a happy hour, conference happy hour. We would encourage you to join for that as well with some local companies as well as all of the speakers and attendees of the conference. Uh, so without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Lee. Thank you, Kat. So in the spirit of thanking people who made this conference possible, we also want to take a moment to thank our wonderful corporate sponsors who made this conference possible. Yeah. So our sponsors this year have been fantastic. They've not only lent their financial support and kind donations, but they've really been participants, so they've been amazing. Um, we're also Team Fuqua here at Duke, and all the wonderful clubs that you see up on the board also lent their support, so can we get one more round of applause for them? Great, and before we get into the content that you all want to see, I want to remind you all that we not only want you to listen today, but we want this to be collaborative. So we want you to engage and collaborate as well. You'll notice out behind where the coffee is, where I'm sure you'll all be spending lots of time, there is a big board and there are some sticky notes with Sharpies, and it says the future of social impact is, and we would love it if every one of you could just write something, whether it's a thought that you already have, something you experience today. We'd love to see that board completely filled up by the end of the day. So as part of engaging, definitely listen and engage in the panels that you go to today. Um, but also, please take a moment to fill those out. That would be fantastic. So now, without further ado, um, to introduce our first keynote speaker is Aaron Worsham, the Executive Director for the Center for the Advancement of Social Entrepreneurship case here at Duke. Here's Aaron.
Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am so thrilled to see you all here at the 13th Annual Sustainable Business and Social Impact Conference. As Lee mentioned, my name is Erin Worsham. I'm the Executive Director of Case Fuqua Center for the Advancement of Social Entrepreneurship. Through research, education, and practitioner engagement, our team at Case works to prepare leaders and organizations to change the world. And so today, it's really exciting that we're coming together with so many of the current leaders in the field and the future leaders to take time to think about the many dimensions of the future of social impact. But of course, when I think about the future, it's always important that we reflect upon the past as well. So it was 20 years ago, to give you a little context, 20 years ago, the movie The Titanic was sweeping the Oscars. <laughs> Nagano was hosting the Winter Olympics. And Case's founder, Greg Dees, was publishing his seminal article, The Meaning of Social Entrepreneurship. That article helped to define the term and the field and really launched uh, social entrepreneurship as a sector that we are celebrating here today. And it was 15 years ago when I was embarking on my own MBA career, as many of you are in the audience today, that Greg came here to Durham with Beth Anderson and founded CASE. So as we celebrate our 15th anniversary this year, we can't help but marvel at how far the field has come in that time. And we continue to push ourselves to think about the future. What's coming next in the next 15 years and beyond? You'll see that thinking throughout the conference today. As Kat just outlined, there are so many fascinating sessions and topics that we'll dive into. Diversity, artificial intelligence, blockchain, the future of work. And one of the questions that we're obsessed with at CASE around scale, how organizations can leap from idea to impact. We at CASE are so proud to partner with the amazing Net Impact Club and EDGE, the Center for Energy Development and the Global Environment here at Fuqua, to bring this conference to you. And it's amazing to see how much it has grown in the 13 years, to see all of the faces here in the audience and over 40 speakers who are here today to share their experience around making positive change. I want to take just a moment to express my tremendous gratitude to the students that have made this conference possible. So you just heard from our student leaders, Manu, Lee, and Kat, who have overseen the development of this conference, have managed an amazing team of first year and second year MBA students, and have pulled together an inspiring agenda for all of you while they are attending classes, recruiting, and doing everything else they need to do here at Fuqua. So let me just take a pause to give a big round of applause one more time to the student team.